Hello everyone. Today's video is called Full Payment is Ancient and I'm going to talk to you today about credit cards. So when I was in college I was not a finance major but when I was working I had a co-worker and she was also in college at the time and she was finance and marketing I think. And one day we were talking about credit cards and responsibility and debt and credit score and and she said to me so are you okay on your credit cards or do you have a lot of debt I said no I I said when you can buy something it means you can afford it and you should pay your credit card in full every month and you'll be great on your credit score and you're on the right track and everything will be fine and uh, she said actually can I tell you something and I said sure, go ahead. And she said that a person who has $3,000, let's say, in credit card debt, and they're paying every month $250, and you, let's say you, the 3000 is on your card, and you're, you've paid it the next month in full 3000 the person who paid in the installments has a better credit score and credit history than you. I didn't know what to say, so I didn't believe her, and it was confusing, and it didn't make sense, and I said, wait a second, I'm old school. This is the way we were taught in my family, in just morality and just responsibility, that if I buy something, I have to be able to afford that, and I have to pay the bill in full the next month. And she said, no, because you don't have a track record. You are not being followed and traced to see a pattern of payment. The way you pay, how much you pay, how often you pay. One month, maybe you charge 3000 You bought furniture. It's paid. Then the next month, you bought groceries and gas you only paid $500 and then you paid it. There is no consistency and amount of money, large amount, let's say, to keep track and watch how that person has handled the money. The payment has to be consistent and it shows a responsibility and it shows a trace of this person's credit history and payment history. So that was really interesting to hear from her because we learned from each other and she was a finance and marketing major. I was not. And that's not what I thought, but she really opened my eyes and she helped me to understand that it does make sense. She knew what she was talking about. She was a finance major and that's basically how it goes in that you also risk exposure when you use your debit card it goes into your account which is your money and if there's a fraud activity you've exposed your account numbers and your pin number and your money that now you have to get back if there was any kind of hacking or online fraud whereas a credit card somebody charged you by mistake or um a fraud charge and I call the credit card company and I say, wait a second, that's not mine. And, oh, I'm so sorry, ma'am. And they'll credit me back. So it was a very interesting conversation. I learned a lot from this girl. I was very happy we had that discussion and I'm passing this along to you. Maybe you knew it already, but it was wonderful. And she taught me a lot about finance and credit cards. So Take that information with you. So take care. Have faith. God bless. Peace. Bye-bye.